ECPA and CropLife International have teamed up with Sorted, a group of mates who love all things food, as they explore one of the world's most staple crops, the potato. Let's go behind the scenes to the Sorted studio, asking Angela Clutton, a food historian, some of your questions about the origins of the potato before the Sorted team put their knowledge to the test in the ultimate Beat the Chef potato battle. Why do people love potatoes so much? I don't think it's very difficult to sell people a potato in the dish perspective. If you talk about roast potato, if you talk about mashed potato. No, mashed potato. <laughs> um, people instantly start thinking, oh yeah. So I think it's just the fact that they're delicious and they can be used in so many different dishes. I'm hoping to find out a little bit more and some more specific so that it gives me a chance to actually beat Ben. Um, but yeah, I think, I think it's the versatility. So if we woke up tomorrow and there was no such thing as the potato, what would the impact on the globe be? A world without potatoes would be a sad, sad place indeed. <laughs> and a Sunday, a Sunday <laughs> roast without potatoes would be a very difficult thing. Uh -huh. Potatoes have been so important and they have been so vital for communities. Without potatoes, a lot of countries around the world, a lot of you know, developing nations that are doing much more potato production than they were, would really struggle. You know, potatoes are becoming increasingly important, as they always have been, just for people to feed themselves. Blight is a form of mould that attacks potatoes um, and it causes them to wilt and rot and the potato itself becomes all you know, mushy and horrible. And it spreads really, really quickly. So when blight appeared, in crops across Europe in 1800s, it absolutely kind of decimated potato crops all over. And it probably came over in, you know, just one bad batch of potatoes, maybe from the South Americas, no one really knows again, but probably one bad batch came over and it just, the blight just spread and it completely decimated, ruined the crops. And the problem was as well that because then there weren't that many different types of potato. So you couldn't even have varieties that might have been more resistant to it. Once it was there, it was everywhere. In Ireland, it was a particularly bad because they had some really you know, bad crops over several years. And the potatoes were so important. You know, the mm. potatoes had really become for the Irish poorer population, the food that they relied upon. And as population had grown hugely in the Industrial Revolution, you got more people and you got fewer potatoes to feed them with. This is a complete disaster. And so the kind of potato variety they had there was called a lumper, which sounds absolutely enticing. <laughs> um, and not one you see on menus it's now, not, is you it? You don't <laughs> see the bags of lumper potatoes. King Edward and Maris Piper yeah, sound a lot more yeah, appealing. They do, that, and with good reason, I think, because the lumper apparently didn't taste that great. Um, and it was called lumper because it was kind of lumpy in appearance. Um, but it was high yielding and that was really what mattered. You could get a lot of them out of a certain patch of land and when you're dealing with having to feed a lot of people, that's what you want to do. But it had no resistance to blight at all, and so the Irish potato famine was a huge disaster and led to a million deaths, a million deaths and huge you know, emigration. It um, was a huge problem you know, in terms of Ireland, it's a huge problem across Europe, but there is a slightly more kind of positive spin on it as well because it meant that agriculturists had to go, well, hang on, we have we have a potato problem here because potatoes are great and we need them and they are hugely important for feeding societies but the potatoes we have are being hugely affected by this blight this mold what can we do and so what they did was come up with lots of different strains of potatoes lots of different varieties which gave birth to all the different kind of potatoes that we enjoy today who knew the history of the potato could be so interesting don't forget to head to sorted's youtube channel to check out beat the chef the ultimate potato battle and find out more about food production and crop protection at ECPA and CropLife International online.